July 2025, an interstellar comet called 3I slash Atlas suddenly flips its tail from facing the sun to streaming away, defying what most comets do. NASA calls it a projection trick. Avi Loeb says it's something deeper, involving giant grains of dust and wild carbon dioxide jets. If he's right, this flip reveals new physics about alien worlds, and the stakes are bigger than just a pretty light show. But how did this strange reversal really happen? An anti-tail is one of the strangest features you can spot on a comet. Instead of streaming away from the sun, like the classic image of a comet's tail, an anti-tail appears to point directly toward the sun. In photographs, it looks like a bright narrow spike jutting from the comet's head, aiming sunward, almost as if the comet is defying the forces that usually shape its appearance. This isn't a trick of the comet's behavior, but a result of how dust spreads out in space and how we view it from Earth. When our planet crosses the plane of the comet's orbit, sunlight catches a sheet of dust that trails behind the comet, making it look like a tail is reaching forward. The anti-tail isn't a separate structure, it's the same dust seen from a special angle, creating a striking illusion that stands out in images. Once you know what to look for, the anti-tail is unmistakable. On July 21st, Hubble captured 3i slash Atlas with a sharp sunward fan, the anti-tail standing out against the blackness. By August 27th, Gemini South imaged a dramatic change. The fan had faded and a more conventional tail stretched away from the sun. On September 15th, the dust tail extended over 100,000 kilometers, now fully anti-solar, while a faint sunward feature lingered close to the nucleus. Spectral data from this period pointed to a carbon dioxide to water ratio near 7.6, far exceeding any solar system comet, though official confirmation remains pending. VLT's late summer spectra revealed a surge in neutral nickel lines, with iron lines conspicuously absent, a composition rarely seen. Polarimetric measurements, if published, could confirm whether millimeter scale grains dominate the dust, as some models suggest. These three frames, July, August, September, anchor the timeline of the tail flip and set clear reference points for testing competing models. When a comet nears the sun, sunlight heats its surface, causing ices to vaporize and jets of gas to erupt. For 3i slash Atlas, the story hinges on what those jets carry into space. The key lies in the size of the dust grains that get swept up. Smaller grains, measuring less than a micron, are so lightweight that sunlight itself pushes them away almost instantly. This is due to the radiation pressure parameter called beta. For tiny grains, beta approaches one, meaning radiation pressure rivals or even exceeds the pull of gravity. These particles race outward, forming the classic tail pointing away from the sun. But larger grains, think millimeter sized, act very differently. Their beta drops to just a fraction of one, so gravity dominates and they drift more slowly. If carbon dioxide is the main ice vaporizing, as some models suggest, it can propel these hefty grains into space. The result is a dust cloud that clings closer to the comet, sometimes appearing to fan toward the sun from our viewpoint. The balance between radiation pressure and gravity set by grain size shapes every detail of the tail's evolution. Avi Loeb's model doesn't just offer a story, it lays out a checklist of evidence, each item tied to the physics of carbon dioxide driven grain ejection. The first signature is a powerful spike in the 4.26 micron infrared band. If carbon dioxide is the main volatile, this spectral line should stand out in post-perihelion observations, bright enough for the James Webb Space Telescope or ground-based infrared telescopes to catch. Next, Loeb's scenario predicts a rise in millimeter wavelength continuum emission. Large dust grains, on the scale of a millimeter or more, emit efficiently at these wavelengths, so the Atacama Large Millimeter Array or similar arrays should detect a sustained elevated flux if his model holds. There's also polarization. Big grains scatter light in a distinctive way, producing strong, persistent polarization signals in the dust coma. If polarimetric data show this pattern, it would back the idea of millimeter scale grains dominating the outflow. Each prediction is concrete, testable, and tied to specific instruments and observing campaigns. If these signatures show up, Loeb's hypothesis gains ground. If not, the conventional models stand firm. Mainstream comet scientists point to a simple cause for the tail flip. Geometry, the anti-tail of 3i slash Atlas was never a separate structure, but a sheet of dust trailing in the comet's orbital plane. 
As Earth moved through this dust plane in late September, our line of sight changed. From one side, the dust appears to spike toward the sun. From the other, it stretches away like a classic tail. This projection effect is well modeled in comet science and matches the timing of the observed flip. No unusual physics or exotic materials are required, just the right angle. No unexplained accelerations or techno signatures have been detected. Every motion fits known comet physics. Major observatories like JWST, ALMA, and VLT have time scheduled to track the comet spectrum and dust after perihelion. Anyone can follow updates or upload images through the Comet Observation Database or the Minor Planet Center, helping refine models in real time. The next round of data could come from you. In July 2025, telescopes captured three slash atlases anti-tail pointing toward the sun, a rare sight for any comet, and unprecedented for an interstellar visitor. By September, that tail had flipped. In step with Earth's crossing of the comet's dust plane, spectra revealed a carbon dioxide to water ratio of about 7.6, while polarimetry suggested unusually large dust grains. Avi Loeb's model linked these features to carbon dioxide-driven grain ejection, predicting measurable signals in the infrared and millimeter ranges. Yet, the mainstream finson propstein geometry model explains the tail flip as a line-of-sight effect, with no need for unconventional physics or alien technology. No unexplained accelerations or technosignatures have been detected. Still, questions remain. Definitive polarimetry and spectroscopic data are pending, and the true composition of 3I slash Atlas is not yet fully confirmed. As 3I slash Atlas continues past perihelion, observatories like JWST and ALMA are collecting new data. What happens next will be decided by evidence, not speculation. For now, the case of the flipping tail stands as a reminder, even in a well-mapped sky, the universe still finds ways to surprise. The interstellar visitor 3I Atlas isn't following the path NASA predicted. It's accelerating toward a hidden perihelion behind the sun, a million kilometer deviation growing wider by the hour. Huge CME launched from the sun's far side directly towards 3I Atlas in superior conjunction with the sun today. The halo CME is skewed in the direction that 3I Atlas is shooting towards. Impact in 3 to 4 days just before perihelion. The new 3I Atlas image is insane. A Death Star type shape, centaur like patterns, and details that defy explanation. Whatever this is, it's not ordinary. 3i Atlas update. Avi Loeb warns the interstellar object may release probes. 